Hi guys, I hope most of you have solved this particular question which was given in the last uh, day as question uh, number one in power system as a challenge. So I would like to discuss this solution now in this video. So the topic that comes, uh, so the topic from which this question was picked up was the, from the load frequency control topic. Okay. And when you talk about the nature of this particular question asked is a thinking required question because it is not a straightforward question you cannot directly apply some or the other formula in order to get the answer. So some sort of a, in, uh, some sort of thinking is required. So that actually comes from solving variety of problems then you would be able to solve this particular question. But no problem because now I am going to discuss the many uh, various steps involved in solving this question. Probably you will be able to solve any sort of question coming out of this topic. The next aspect is the reference for this particular topic. So you could refer my video on load frequency control, it is around 1 hour. So you can search in my channel or you can find the linking in the de description box below. At the same time, if you want you could search in the YouTube also load frequency control in power systems. The first video appearing will be my video only. It is the first video on YouTube where I have explained the entire uh, concept of full, the full length concept about the load frequency control. Now we will try to analyze this problem and try to solve this. So first we will try to visualize what he has given in the question. The question is given you that there is a generator whose rating is 20 megawatt and rated frequency is how much? 50 hertz is the rated frequency of this particular generator system. Now this fellow generator is supplying to two loads it seems. So one load is 8 megawatt and the other load is also 8 megawatt he is telling you okay 8 megawatt and 8 megawatt alright. So when operating at 8 megawatt and 8 megawatt this both operate at a frequency of 50 hertz is that specifically he has stated that. And another information that he has given you that, that these one of these generator either of them is fitted with some under frequency relay. What is that? Under frequency relay. What do you mean by under frequency relay? It is a relay which will disconnect the load or the generator or any apparatus to which it is intended to protect if the frequency falls below some specified cutoff frequency. In the question here, the cutoff frequency given by him is 50, 48 hertz. That means if the system frequency falls below 48 hertz, one of these two 8 megawatt load will be disconnected by this under frequency relay. So he did not uh, directly told that under frequency relay, but we can understand from the way of asking the question understood that there is an under frequency relay. All right, that is fine. So ultimately what is asking you that when you are going to connect a new additional load of 6 megawatt understood apart from this 8 plus 8 another plus 6 you are going to connect as a additional load when you are going to connect the additional load what is going to be the frequency of the system is asking you the final frequency of the system with all the loads combined. But he has given you another condition that generators will trip one of the generators will trip if the frequency falls below 48. Basically what happens when you are increasing the load on the generator frequency will be drooping isn't it and if the droop is beyond because I am adding a new 6 megawatt of additional load if the droop is going beyond 48 hertz then one of the generator will be disconnected from the supply and uh, then you have to calculate for the remaining two generators understood and uh, he has given you how much is the droop also he told you that droop is how much droop is 5 percent so what does this 5 percent droop indicate 5 percent droop indicates that when load okay when the load is varying from no load to full load what is the full load capacity of this particular system the generator capacity itself is the full load capacity isn't it when the load is varied from 0 to 20 megawatt okay 0 to 20 megawatt what is going to be the change in frequency is what specified by this fellow. So what will be the change in frequency what is the percentage given here 5 percent now so I will write 5 by 100 into what is the rated frequency. So this is generally expressed as a percentage of rated frequency of the system unless specifically stated unless specifically stated means what usually he will tell you that 5 percent expressed as a percentage of no load frequency but unless he specifically states that it is no load frequency you should consider the rated frequency which is 50 hertz only is given in the question now because the rating of the generator is 50 hertz okay so 50 so if you try, try to solve this you will get how much 2.5 hertz next you have to find out some parameter called as speed regulation parameter what is that speed regulation parameter what is a speed regulation parameter sir speed regulation parameter is some constant value represented by r is given by minus change in frequency from no load to full load by change in load from no load to full load so what is the change in frequency from no load to full load 2.5 hertz divided by what is the change in load from no load to full load 
20 megawatts 20 megawatts isn't it 20 megawatts so when you are going to solve this you are going to get what 1 by 8 hertz per megawatts 1 by 8 hertz per megawatt so that is what you got the speed regulation parameter for this particular system that means the speed regulation parameter will indicate you a shortcut that how many hertz the frequency is dropping basically minus okay how many hertz the frequency is dropping for every one megawatt addition of load on the system understood for every one additional megawatt addition on the system so if you try to draw the uh, graph of this particular system okay power megawatt loading versus frequency graph of this particular system okay so here will be the no load frequency no load frequency is the frequency where there is no load on the system and here will be the load so let us say this is 20 megawatt that is full load 20 megawatt that is full load so according to this what is given as 5 percent droop here he says that when the load is varying from no load to full load no load to full load so this is the full load isn't it here is the full load so the change in frequency from no load to full load so this gap or this difference is going to be 2.5 hertz understood 2.5 hertz and he we don't know what is going to be the full load frequency so that thing is not revealed by him he told you that how much change frequency will be there with respect to rated frequency and another thing he specifically stated that when the generator is operating with 8 plus 8 megawatt it is operating at 50 hertz so when the load on the system was 16 megawatt as per him he says that the frequency the frequency of the system was how much 50 hertz understood at 16 megawatt the frequency of the system is 50 50 but the rated frequency of the generator is 50 that doesn't mean that when the generator is operating at 20 megawatts it is 50 it is the sp stated or it is the scheduled frequency of the system what we call this as a scheduled frequency we can also call this as scheduled frequency scheduled frequency understood so most of the students tend to get confused uh, with this particular component so what the people will think 50 hertz means when generator is operating at 20 megahertz megawatts the frequency is 50 hertz is what they feel don't feel like that because in the question he has specifically given you right now what is the condition now he is not asking you to guess what will be the frequency if the load is 20 megawatt he is already given you it is 50 hertz when the load on the system is 16 megawatt understood so at 16 megawatts it is 50 so from this what i can understand if the load on the system if the load on the system is 16 megawatt okay if load is 16 megawatt then the frequency is 50 hertz then uh, i can find out what is the no load frequency isn't it what will be the no load frequency f no load will be equal to f no load will be equal to frequency as frequency at 16 megawatt plus change in the frequency isn't it no load frequency will be nothing but frequency at 16 megawatt what is the frequency at 16 megawatt 50 hertz isn't it plus delta f so what is the change in the frequency so you already got this regulation parameter so that you can find out what is the change in the frequency so change in frequency can be given by simply regulation parameter into how much loading you are applying regulation parameter into change in the load understood so how much regulation parameter 1 by 8 is the regulation parameter into what is the loading that you are applying now 0 to 16 megawatt isn't it because you are applying 16 megawatt how much frequency is dropping you find out so 16 megawatt so cancel out how much you get 2 hertz so the change in frequency is how much 2 hertz so the no load frequency of this particular generator is how much 52 hertz isn't it you got no load frequency as 52 hertz very good so i got the no load frequency how much i got 52 hertz understood so when operating at 16 megawatt the frequency of the system is 50 hertz when operating at no load the frequency of the system is 52 hertz all right now what i have to do now what i have to do is i have to check for a condition that when i'm going to add this additional load of 6 megawatt what is going to be the frequency of the system now what is going to be my new load on the system load load of the system already 8 plus 8 16 is there and along with this i'm adding another 6 it's making 22 megawatt now by adding 22 megawatt okay by adding uh, making the total load to 22 megawatt i am going to check what is going to be the frequency so frequency at 22 megawatt i am asking frequency at 22 megawatt would be equal to frequency at 22 megawatt would be equal to no load frequency minus change in frequency when you are varying the load to 0 to 22 megawatt isn't it so what is the no load frequency i got 52 
and what would be the change in frequency when you are going to vary from 0 to 22 megawatt again use the same concept of regulation parameter into change in the load so what is the regulation parameter regulation parameter is 1 by 8 isn't it so 1 by 8 into how much load you are applying 22 megawatt you are applying so upon solving this you will get the frequency of the system would be 49.25 megawatt understood you are going to get the frequency as 49.25 megawatt when the load on the system is 22 megawatt that means the, if the additional load is also added but you are getting 49.25 megawatt very good whereas the under frequency relay is set for below 48 hertz so under frequency relay is working or not no under frequency relay is not working but there is a case over here what is the maximum load of the system 20 megawatt now how much is the load you are applying on the system 22 megawatt but still the generator one of the generator will trip why it will trip due to overload due to overload another generator will trip so i will write down due to overload one of the generator should trip so one eight megawatt generator trips due to overload but not under frequency because frequency of the system when 22 megawatt load is there is equal to 49.25 hertz which is greater than 48 hertz therefore no operation in the under frequency relay but at the same time load on the system is equal to 22 megawatt which is higher than 20 megawatt which is the rated load of the system therefore overload mechanism will work and one generator will be tripped so if one generator is stripped what will be the load load so load would be you will have one eight megawatt plus one additional six megawatt isn't it so eight plus six would be 14 megawatt now when the generator load is 14 megawatt tell me what will be the frequency so again i can find out what will be the frequency at 14 megawatt so frequency at 14 megawatt would be no load frequency minus frequency dropping from 0 to 14 megawatt isn't it so that would be equal to 52 minus again use the regulation parameter 1 by 8 into change in frequency change in load is 0 to 14 and uh, this will come out to be as 50.25 hertz so the answer for this question would be 50.25 hertz understood so like this we have to treat with this kind of questions there is nothing to confuse and nothing to worry basically more students get tend to confuse at the initial point where i discussed about the scheduled frequency that is the reason why i have taken some time to discuss about the scheduled frequency so once you got this point everything is clear you can deal with any kind of uh, question so i could say the difficulty level of this question is difficult only it is not even moderate but you require you require a high grade of thinking in order to solve this so to understand this load frequency concept much more better i request you to or i suggest you to go through my load frequency control video which is one hour you can find a lot of subject so you better take a notebook and keep writing down whatever points i keep on saying you there and there also i have solved some number of uh, good number of problems also in the in the video and i hope you like this video